morning, everybody. Good morning. And happy holidays. Nearly will be. Well, we're at our favourite place, Tesco. Just done all the shopping, £166. £160? You're going to stop drinking, you have. It's not the alcohol, it's food this time. And a ha- hundred and how much on diesel? £105 on diesel. So yep. that's what? Uh, a lot. A lot. Uh, yeah, so we are off now to our first stop, which is a caravan and camping site in Folkestone, which is about 10 minutes away from the tunnel, apparently. Which just cost me 33 quid for the night. Yeah, well. Um, which I'm not really happy about. Just now, we've just got the stress of getting there because, as you all know, the M20 is blocked. Well, the shut to cars. We've got to find a route. Who cares? We'll get there. We've got till 10 to 11 tomorrow morning to get there. So, yeah, it's, uh, so yeah. 25 past 7 in the morning now. Yeah, you got me up at 4 o'clock this morning on the road for half past 5. Yeah, pick the motor arm up, fill up the diesel, do the shopping. Bloody mission in it. Like, and no, absolute mission. No panting, no whining, because we've left the doggies at home. Well, not at ours, at our sons. So, yeah. So, we'll crack on with our journey. Yeah. Down to Folkestone. And we'll film on the way because we'll probably be stuck and then i've got to fill up with more diesel again when i'm down there before we get to kent because apparently there's none in kent because of the protesters so it's all all good fun eh you are looking really pretty today <laughs> shut up i'm Robert. dead excited people you can't whack this life it's a... oh shut up Rob. <laughs> shut up robert in a... well we're 20 minutes away people from Folkestone. we're actually in favisham favisham yes Bloody hell, it's been a bit of a mission. Yeah, I've had to use my phone for the last half an hour or so. Hour? Yeah, because the Garmin sat nav tried to insist on us taking the M20 all the way down and it was closed, which we knew it was closed. But every time we turned off, because I went onto my phone, used the maps on my phone, and then the sat nav said, no, turn around, turn around, do a U turn. You can't beat your phone, you know. But the only thing is, it's not programmed. The only thing is. Shut up, Robert. It's not programmed to uh, length, height, weight, which is quite big in Robert's case. They're quite short in yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got that one in. It's a quick and for a thicken. Unbelievable. And I'm starving. <sighs> well, I'm going to get more diesel. I made him his lunch earlier. Unbelievable, is that? Upside down. Chicken. Oh. Hang on. Uh oh, my just fell off. Get your little furry mic on. I don't know if it's worked now, so we'll see, it's won't we? your armpit. Shut up, Robert. <laughs> Chicken, tikka and mango chutney. Tesco. Bloody lovely. They are, they are really nice. Good job, really, isn't it? Because I wasn't going to do sandwiches at four o'clock this morning. Why not? I had too much to do. Well, a good wife would have done. No, my son decided he wants to sleep in our bed while we were away, so I was stripping that at half past four this morning. Yeah, I wonder why that is. <laughs> Shut up, Robert. So we'll crack on, people, to Blackstone Caravan no, Park. We're not going to Blackstone. Where is it? Black Horse something or other. Black Horse. Caravan Park. Caravan oh, and Motor Home Club site. Something like that. Let you know when we get there. Unbelievable. So, Unbelievable. But on a good note, it's day dry. It's not cold. We can go away. Yeah, but, oh yeah, going back to the diesel, the last four petrol stations we drove past hadn't got any, no. and then the one that had, they were queuing around the corner. Yeah. But by the time we get to the site, we'll still have half a tank. Worst case scenario, we'll get some in Calais. Calais, I can't believe I'm saying it, Calais, we'll be in Calais tomorrow. Drive, well, they all drive on the wrong side of the road as well, don't they? I know, I'm not looking forward to that. Good job I'm not doing the driving. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Absolutely typical. But we are stuck in roadworks. And I might have a snog in uh, Benidorm. We're not going to bloody Benidorm. Are we? Well, I'm not. So you'll be on the side of the road then? <laughs> no, we've, like we said on our live, if, uh, if you saw it, I think we're, we're looking at Mont Saint Michel, the second, second stop. And then on to La Rochelle and even maybe down to San Sebastian in Spain. But we'll see. How can you remember all these names? I, I can only just remember France. 
but we'll see it might be a bit too ambitious to think that we can get that far down but i want to chase the sun because it doesn't look like the weather's too good at the moment excuse the police car it's so good to be back on the road people it's just so strange you can't whack it it's amazing it's so strange having the dogs with us isn't it great no whining no whinging no only, yapping only off her. <laughs> unbelievable so yeah we'll uh have a look when we get there if we ever get there if, yeah it's been a long ass day so Give far us that kiss. shut up robert all right so we are here we are at black are we? black horse farm caravan and cl clubs caravan and camping club yeah. side easy access and oh, there's a bloke coming towards me so yeah. i've got to get off you know, do you know all that a bit okay there you go. thank you Service point. Here we go. I've got to fill up the water, people. Get the back end news. Whack it, news. Because I'm excited. Because we're here. Lovely little site. We're on a ferry pitch. Bloody so expensive little site. I know that. Vehicle reversing. Vehicle reversing. It's a. Uh, vehicle reversing. It's vehicle a reversing. Hell, short off. It's a one-off. And we've got electric, so we can charge everything up because we drained the jack. Today didn't we, Robert? Yes, I did. Okay. Happy about this? Happy. Why is it always the bloke's job? It's a blue. Like it's a blue job. And my job is to put everything away. Although we haven't got a lot out. No dogs. Yeah, lovely, oh, lovely out. little site. We'll have a walk around in a bit before we have a single gin and a single jack. We've arrived at, where are we? Black Horse Farm. Yeah, there. They know because I've just filmed that we've arrived here. Weirdo. It's going to be one of them days again, people. I'm tired. Four o'clock. I mean, it's getting earlier. I'm not going to go to bed soon. Stop moaning, you little git. <laughs> but we're here. Yeah, you can't whack it, people. And I've uh, just put my angle morts on. So let's have a look, eh? What's the matter? Well, I know you've done the right thing. You've stuck it on with red tape. Yeah. It's not very neat, is it? It don't matter, does it? I'm going to rip it off and bin it. I know, but... Well, shall we, shall we round it off or something? You mean, shall I round it off? Yeah. Go get the scissors, eh? Go on, crack on. Now listen, what? be careful with those scissors against the van. Oh, I don't like this, people. I don't like it. Let's have a look at your corner. <laughs> I'll leave it. It's fine. <laughs> no, you've got to do the other corner now. I can't drive about like that. So I've got a bit of OCD, you know. It doesn't look like it with us. What a mess. Concentrate what you're doing. I don't want to hear no metal on the, on the uh, body. On, you'll, hear, you'll hear some in a minute on yours. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Just trim it. I'm sure you're getting shorter. <laughs> Can you reach that? <laughs> Don't look. I mean, it's, it's only just above the light. Oh, shut up. Oh, no, you're cocking that right up, ain't you? Nah, just leave it. There you look go. at that. What a mess. It looked better before. <laughs> Oh, well, never mind. It's on, in it? Well, we haven't got to look at it, have we? Just the people behind us. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the ones on the door. Actually, I've just uh, wiped it down as well. Which I'm happy about. Yeah, the door ones are fine, aren't they? Yeah, the magnetic ones are absolutely bang on. Are they high uh, enough? Are they high enough? Well, I mean, you're not I, looking it, down at them, are you? I don't know. So I was going to say, even I don't have to look down at those. No, that's plenty high enough, surely. I don't know. Well, I'm not going anywhere else. I'm not going on the black pit. What? Well, they're on. Yeah. Now we've just got to put the headlight things on. Which we haven't got a clue what to do, have we? No. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> apparently <laughs> there's instructions. Is there? Apparently. We've got to bang them on there somewhere, so we'll have a look. Where's the bulb? Oh, there. Do you want me to read the instructions? Well, I'd say that's... I mean... Which one? Which bulb? That, that one, one or that? That, that one? I don't know. That, yeah, that one. That one? No, nah, the other one. That one? I don't know. I don't know. Just bang them on, don't matter, does it? 
room on the back lights would be different. Ah, oh, bloody hell. We'll get there in the end. So, to be honest, we haven't got a clue what we're doing, have we? Is there anything new there? So, apparently, what you do, you have to... You go on to... Give her a minute. Put your foot, put your foot on there. Right, you go on there yeah. and you find your vehicle. Yes. Well, I know Which, where the vehicle is, there. Yeah. Well, ours is a Fiat Ducato 2014 onwards. Yeah. Which says number one. So then you go onto this. Onto number one. Let's have a look at number one. And that's number one. And right. It says, so, so apparently, hang on, let me get my glasses on. Where's number one? There. Yeah. So that's the that's the bulb there. Yeah. So I think I've stuck it in the right place there, dear. Well, if not, I'm sure somebody, will, some nice policeman over there, will tell you. No, nah, they ain't got a clue of those. As long as they see the stickers on the headlights, that's all that matters, isn't it? Don't know. Well, it's on anyway. Right, you got to get the other one on now. And I'll try and fold this back. It up. recommends you to take them off as soon as you get back to the UK. Yeah, I got out because of the 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 adhesive on them attacks the can attack the plastic. Yes. So shall I just take them off and take them? No. Care? Unbelievable, isn't it? Right, so there you go. One, two. But like I said in the last vlog, because the headlights are crap on these things, we ain't going to be able to see nothing here. You're going to have to walk in front of a torch. And hope I don't put We're not driving at And night. hope I don't put my foot down and run you over. Well, yeah, if all the plans, if everything goes to plan, we won't be driving at night, will we? Oh, and don't forget to... Look. There's a lot of people who have said, don't forget you need the UK stickers. We've already got those. Yeah, got the stickers there, look. Had those a while now. Have you got your passport? It's a lot of faffing in is all this. It is. But it'll be worth it. I thought our laws are strict on uh, driving. Christ, what's it like over there? I I'll shoot you if you've got a light out. Actually, I've got a light out. I know. Yeah. Very irritating, that is. You know, these, uh, the lights, on the, the amber lights on the side. Like I've got one there. Two, three, but that one there doesn't work for some reason. I've tried whacking it and everything, but it <clears throat> just doesn't happen. Whacking it doesn't does not make it work. Yes. Yeah, but so I'm glad, I mean, we've got everything done. We're all ready. Yes. And it's not raining. Bonus. You are looking really pretty today. Shut up, Robert. I was talking to that bird behind you. <laughs> yeah, because when we pulled on this side, we went to the most home service points and. Uh, you know, I just got the hose pipe out in the van, washed the road crap off it, and I was told off. I'm a shocker. And I'll show you why. It's flooded a pitch. I haven't flooded a pitch. Well, it's either that or someone's had a big wee. <laughs> yeah, so that's the most home service point there. So while I was filling the water off, I'll get the hose on and just wash a bit of crap off. And apparently the woman come out to there and said, no, you can't do that because the water runs down there. And floods that pitch out apparently. But then I was thinking, I bet it's right down rain, somebody's parked there anyway. Well, the thing is, you don't park there, do you? Oh, no, no. Uh, what's in there? Laundress. Yeah, laundress in there. How much is it? About 500 quid. 500 pound of wash. Standard price, I think, five pounds. Unbelievable. Did you just say my I little angel? It, I said it's a very nice, quiet site. It'd be quite a few, should all. Oi. What? What's that? You look tired, are you? What do you think? I didn't get me up at 4am. It's best to get on the road early. I was going to say something, and you've made me forget. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, it is a, a nice sight if you're coming to uh, Folkestone to get on the tunnel, I suppose. Yeah, but it's I... bloody expensive. But it's worth it. No, it's not. It is. No, it's nothing's worth £33 huh. a night. Yeah, it is. It's a location. Well, that's coming out your holiday money anyway. What holiday? Oh, yeah. I'm going to give you five euros. Oh, to go to go with my five pound. No, I'm on the five pound back. You got a dog walk there. Don't know where it goes, mind you, but there's one there. It just goes up there and back. Oh, does it? Yes. All right. After thirty odd years, I've found something. My little fruit cake, my little dust cap, my little Dr. Martin boot likes. <laughs> Look, they're getting worse. I think it's so cute. Check that out. Barefoot. That's different, isn't it? Yeah. I like that. I'm happy about that. It's cute. Just like me. I was going to say, just like me. Don't be silly. Bloody old bird. <laughs> so this is the inside of it. It's got full central heating. 
and also it's got a toilet and a shower and because of the guy who owns it is tall you can take that bottom panel out there and it gives you more height it's bang on man really nice 28 grand brand new that's what we um do with this it's like and the lady makes them in the Cotswolds apparently www.gobarefoot.co.uk Yes, lovely man <sighs> To be honest there's not a lot we can film about the site to be honest yeah. it's just another site Yeah, it's a nice site, it's a very quiet site Nice uh, atmosphere, people talk to you <laughs> yeah, especially that, the, the couple that we've just spoke to, we've got the uh, barefoot van. Yeah, beautiful van. Really is. Not sure about the colour though. Neither is the bloke around it, to be honest. But I love it, <laughs> and his wife does, so who cares? Wait, let's crack on my little angel. It's a kiss. Lots of slogs going to go on this holiday. Nah. <laughs> You're raving nuts. Where are you going now? There's a, a lovely couple that's asked if they could meet us because they've got a donation for our charity. So, come oh, on. bless them. Let's What's their names? Denise. We'll ask them, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and this lady, what's your name, sorry? Denise. Denise, Denise is very kindly going to give us a donation towards our charity. Thank you. Okay. Race Against Dementia. It Thank is. you Thank so, you. so much. It is a good, it's a bit it's fantastic. Good. Well, we just want to say a massive thank you to Chris. And Denise. And Denise. It is so generous. Thank you so, so much. It means so much that we can raise as much money as we possibly can. And unfortunately, they can't come to our meetup. So, yeah, thank you so, so much again. Yeah, it was a pleasure to meet you both. Lovely people. Really lovely people. Like she said, it feels like she's known us for years, and it does. It... Yeah, you know, but for people to come out the way to come and meet us and, and give us a donation towards this amazing charity is uh, just mind-blowing, to be honest. It really is. So thank you both so much again. Yes, thank you. Right, what are our plans? <sighs> well, we can't have a lot to drink. Let's get hammered. You can't. I'm on holiday. You good. can drive. I'll get some blocks of wood on the bottom of your feet so you can reach your pebbles. How rude. How bloody rude. No. Um, no. Roll on tomorrow, people. Mm, roll on. It's going to be an early night. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Up since four. So, yeah, early night. I'm going to cook. I did I did think he might actually take me out for a meal because apparently there's a pub around the corner that does food, but he's too cold. No, one. Well, yes. But that money can go in the tank, can't it? Diesel. Oh, yeah. And these people, the, the people we're on about, Chris and Denise. Denise. Denise? Denise. Denise. Uh, they they live local, about 15 minutes away, and there's no diesel in Ken. Just no. none here. So Shocking. It's fine. We've so got... anyway, I'm already for France. And apparently you still got to wear these. That actually is a massive improvement. It's unbelievable. If I put another one over there. There you go. Perfect. It's unbelievable, isn't it, eh? I'll bring you away. For, let's get this off. I'll bring you away for a romantic fortnight. What? That's mine. Yours is the old one on there. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Don't smile a lot because your teeth. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the next time you'll see us, pe see us people, we'll all be in France. Yes. On the shuttle. Yep. Yeah, we're going to record. Get in there. To, oh, as if we can find out how to get there. Plenty of water. For now, you can have one gin and tonic after in a bit. Yes. So yeah, we're going to film getting there and going through the tunnel, and I'm really excited because I don't know what to expect. Oh, hang on, we've got to shout out to somebody here, birthday. Yeah, I'll do that in a second. And we've got a couple of shout outs to do, people. Yeah, we haven't done any for a bit, have we? No. Nope. We haven't, have we? No. So, yeah, just got a few shout outs. Um, hi, Robin Lynn. Just a reminder to wish my wife, Angela, a very happy birthday on the 4th of April. Lots of love from Rick. From Angela, happy birthday. From Stoke on Trent. 
from Stoke on Trent. Yeah, because he did message me, and I said he, he messaged me about us about a week ago, and I said, "Can you send me a reminder?" Yeah, because uh, with everything going on, I thought I, I don't want to forget. So, so happy birthday for the fourth of April. Yeah, very wishing you a very the happy fourth birthday. Fourth of April. Yeah, I know it was a few days ago. Unbelievable. Um, I hope you had a great day. It's time today. I've got work in a fortnight. Hobbies, can you wish my hobby a birthday on the 9th of April, please? His name's Stephen. Happy birthday, Steve, for the 9th of April. And that's from Debbie Morris. Debbie Morris? Spoil, spoil, Steve. Yep, you've got two days. Is it the 7th? No. It's the 8th. It's tomorrow. Happy yep. birthday for to. No, when you see this, it'll be a birthday yep. today. So, so happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Have a great day. Um, and the other one is Rianne Watts. Rianne said, Watts? Is that that bird from What's a Going? It is. Unbelievable. She said, hi both, it's David's birthday on the 19th of April and he's 55. 55, happy birthday Dave. And we'll be married, we'll have been married 11 years on the 28th, so please if you could remember, give us a shout out, tell him I love him to the moon and back. Oh God, I'm going to throw up in a minute. <laughs> So, happy birthday, Dave. Happy birthday and happy anniversary to you both. Yeah, so have, have a great day and uh, congratulations on your anniversary. Yeah. So that's about it for this one, folks. We're going to wrap it up now because Lynn wants a snog. No, I need food and early bed. Yeah? Shut up, Robert. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we'll see you in front. Stay safe for the caravan as motorhomers tend to drift as subscribers old and new. We still love you. We do. Have a fantastic weekend, people. We'll see you soon. In a bit.